All right, I'm back with another video here. You know, even by my standards, this is gonna be a relatively low quality one because I'm not in my usual spot, which is also why I have this tremendous opportunity right now to acquire these at a really great price. And uh, rather than just remind myself what it was like opening these, I thought I'd open one up for my a case that I already had and see how we do and uh, yeah, go from there. Star City Games, for those who are familiar, had a huge discount recently. At like 125, you could get these. And let me tell you, at that price, whew, these look real good. I do think there's a lot more value in here compared to other recent boxes like New Capenna, Midnight Hunt, AFR. These just blow those out of the water. <sighs> but may as well remind myself why or why not I would. <laughs> I would go ahead and get more of these. Ah, oh, they're so much fun to open, let me tell you. And then a lot of these cards have really gotten a second life at different times, like uh, the Adventurers, White Plume, and Undermountain. The Dragons are still valuable. There's a lot about these that are really cool. And just a lot of playable cards that I think, since the product was like rejected initially, will only start to understand over time how good those cards are in certain decks. You know, we're still figuring it out. All right, here we go. Murkov's Invoker, Merkel's Invoker, my mistake. Young Blue Dragon. <clears throat> uh, Aracroca Sneak. I'm sorry, this is probably not gonna be an HD video, and I apologize. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this an uncommon? No, it's a common, okay. Albert Shepard, uncommon. Let's see how I'm gonna do this, hold on. Let me move these a bit like that. Move that a bit like that. Okay. Overwhelming Encounter and the Swamp. You can get the Deadly Dispute, so there are some good commons and things of that nature. Move this over just a smidge. These are our perfect fits and our regular fits. So the Swamp. I'm sorry, I'm still getting set up. This is terrible. Uh, I'll put that. Over here, down here, over here, and then tokens below it, and then we'll do the rares here. Okay, so we got ourselves a marching dua drone. That's a common. Candle keep sage common again as well. A draw apostate uncommon textured foil. While not necessarily worth separating, I will for my own to help myself organize. I guess. Like these showcases and the etched aren't don't have any premiums on them, but hey, Jahira, not bad. I'll put that as a hit. Got a Jahira. Stick together. I don't know. I don't know where that should be, but extended art, nice. Wand of Wonder. I think uh, I think people still like that. I think that's uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's up here. Ma Wild Magic Surge. That's the one that's nice. Ragadraga. Also, nothing too crazy, and Zelfor, oh boy, all right, and, oh, Mighty Servant of Luke Oak, extended foil, I'll put that down here, and then we have an Undercity and the Initiate, nice, those are, um, that mechanic is pretty good, the uh, initi Initiate mechanic, that's like what made Undermountain Adventure so good, and some other cards, so. Not to scoff at. And you hear a friend of the forest. Still, of course, a good card. I'll just put uh, perfect fits on for now. Well, that's nah, good. Double, double sleeve already. Okay, so it wasn't a crazy pack there. You're going to need more value than that to do well. But again, you know, a lot of good playables in here. Like, I, I just think over time, this set's gonna do well. The only downside is if any of these cards do really catch on for a stain period, they'll just be reprinted, right? All right, here we go. Roving Harbor, sorry, Harper. Keep gate, oh, we got a gate. I'll put that down there. Um, 
Poison the Blade. Wait, yep, Poison the Blade. And Amethyst Dragon. Wait, there are only three commons? I guess so. Amethyst Dragon. Blood Boil Sorcerer. And then we got the Forest, the Swamp. Okay, Swamp. Got ourselves an Uncommon. Showcase, nothing crazy, nothing important. Cultist. Ball, oh boy. Asterion's Thirst, uh, I have so many of these, come on, let's get something crazy. Harper, Recruiter, I just don't know, but I don't, I'll have to look it up. Wizards of Thay, Extended, that's a, uh, maybe a buck. Merkel, Lord of Bones, that's nothing. Alunda the Seer, that's nothing. Will's Reversal, that's nothing. Oh boy, that was a tough one. One moment. Oh, all right, I'll put Wizards of Stay into a penny sleeve, maybe. And uh, Will's Reversal, just because it's an extended foil. So that can happen. Wow, the, the one box I think I've ever opened of this I'm realizing now the reason I thought it was so good. I did get an ancient copper dragon, not like a crazy one, but, and I also pulled a, you know, like a, an ancient brass dragon. I got two dragons, a freaking timeless, sorry, don't mean to say freaking, but timeless, uh, not timeless dragon, a Minskin Boo, timeless heroes, and luxury suite and bountiful promenade, both extended foil. So maybe this is my reckoning. After that amazing pack, now I have to pay for it. All right. Flaming Fist Officer, Colossal Badger, Clockwork Fox, and Inspired Tinkering is not a bad card. Neither is Cut a Deal. Those are things I would consider borderline hits. So I'm going to put in that hit column, you know, in terms of uncommon. Lightning Bolt, very nice. That, you know, that right there, Foil Lightning Bolt, not bad at all. In fact, I'm going to throw it right into a penny sleeve right away. What do we have after that? Far Traveler, Uncommon Foil, Tavern Brawler, ugh. and first rare, Ball Lord of Murder. Unfortunately, that's absolutely nothing. These legendary creatures are killing us. Journey to the Lost City. I don't know. Got these enchantments and stuff. I, I just have to look it up. I hope it's good. Ooh, Undermountain Adventure Extended. That's sweet. That's sweet. Shameless Charlton. That is not. Markle again. Oh my goodness. And Sentinel Worm is not bad. And then a Squirrel Treasure Token. Sentinel Worm is not bad. I mean, it's probably only a buck or two, but I think it's actually closer to four. Undermountain Adventurer, though, is real nice. I mean, this is the one that spiked. It's come back down to Earth. I think in Europe, it's still a little bit higher, so I'll take it. Cut a deal and Inspired Tinkering are both, like, maybe 50-cent cards, so let's put Penny Sleeves on them. I gotta blow my nose, hold on. <sighs> Sorry about that, I use wet wipes to wipe my hands because I don't want them to get too soapy or anything and I have to wait to open the cards again. All right, so Sentinel Worm and Undermountain Adventure, that was a good one. That was a solid pack. That may have paid for itself. First one to do so, however. Maybe not quite even. <laughs> That's the sad part. Maybe not even. But the Lost City and some of those, those could be something. I just don't know. At least not offhand. All right. Goggles of Night. Sea Hag. And the Adept. Bag of Holding and Burnished Heart. 
either of which are hits. Okay, Island turns into the Butcher. Very playable card. Just because it's a showcase, I'll put it down there. Um, Commander Porter and Shadow Arch Druid. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a wompy dompy hit. Holy moly. This card has been on a rampage recently. Oh my gosh. Battle Angel Tear. Okay, it's only the regular foil, but that is sweet. That's our first big hit. That's amazing. I love it. Another mythic? Ugh. This guy? I don't think this guy is anything, but I'm not sure. Uh, it is a mythic. Oh, luxury sweet. Look at these hits right now, guys. Oh my gosh. Orion, nothing. Duke, nothing. I don't know. Bar and Brawl, probably nothing, but it is extended foil. Well, that was a sweet pack, guys. We got two sweet hits. I mean, these are like both amazing hits for me. So Luxury Suite, probably extended, probably six, seven to eight maybe bucks. Um, but you know, this and Morphic Pool and any of those are great to get. They're just very easy to sell. So for a store like me, that's great. And then Battle Angel Terror. This is actually the first time I pulled this card and this card is amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be careful sleeving this one second. All right, I got it. This card is now the second or third most valuable card in this set, so that's a huge hit. That's our first, like, legitimate hit. The others are just kind of like, oh, that's nice. All right, two more from this first six. And I will calculate the value at the end and try to give you an idea how we did. You know, we haven't had any big, big hits yet, really. I mean, the Battle Angel of Terror we have, but we haven't had any dragons. I guess that's the only thing. <laughs> we have had Battle Angel of Terror, so. Prophetic Prism, Druid of the Emerald Grove. I think I accidentally put these commons down here. They belong up there. Okay. Topaz, Dragon, and Ambition's Cost. Okay, we haven't had any big uncommons yet. I mean, Cut a Deal and Inspired Tinkering are both like 50 cent uncommons, but there are some big uncommons, I believe, right? There's the Gates. We do have a Heap Gate. I don't think that's one of the better Gates, but... Okay, Mountain goes to... Oh. Even the... He's a Showcase, so I'll put him down back here. What do we have here? Servok Deathbringer. And Guild Artisan. And Baba Lisa, these legendary creatures are just crap. I mean, some of them are good to play with. They're just not, no value whatsoever. Astral Dragon. Is Astral Dragon a bit of a hit? It might be. It might be, I'll put it in the hits column. Ooh, extended Spire Garden, I love it, guys. That's probably even better than the sweet. Oh, about the same. That's amazing, love it. Mazzy. Hey, okay. You know, not a big hit, but a very playable card, too. Ooh, Robe of the Arch... No, Robe of the Arch Maga. I don't think that's anything crazy. Do not think it's anything crazy. Robe of that Arch Maga. I'll put it down here anyways, though. Then uh, the, the, the champion, Volshock's champion. Very good, very playable. Um... Astral Dragon, maybe a buck or two, I'd hope. And then Spire Garden, which is a real nice one, right? Real nice. I don't have to ask if it is. I know it is Spire Garden. So with Luxury Suite, that are, those are two of the sweet lands so far. All right, so last... Uh, pack of the first six. Maybe I'll do a little recap at the half and do a box battle which half is better And I'll tell you what if the right half is better. So this is the first half. If the right half, the second half wins I'll do another giveaway. I've never done one actually. I always offer it. Since nobody watches the videos, it doesn't matter <laughs> But if anybody watches, 
we'll do some juicy giveaway. We can determine what it is at the end. So if the second half is worth more, you win. Whatever it is, we decide you win. Okay, you look upon the Tarrasque and Arcane Signet. Nice, that's our first good uncommon. Foil, Arcane Signet. Okay. Oh, man, my back. Oh, crack. Not easy to stand the way I'm standing. Okay, planes. Wow, Goggles of Night. Thank you so much. Amber, Amber Gristle Mall. And the Oliphant. And Mirror of Life Trapping. I don't remember if that's a hit or not. Maybe it is. It's only 50 cents. I can't remember. Ooh, Death Kiss. Gonna have to look that guy up too. Look at how cool that card is though, right? Very cool. Oh, that's sweet. That's a hit right there. That's awesome. Extended Kindred Discovery. Hell yes. And, oh my gosh. Oh, get out of here, guys. An ex borderless Battle Angels of Tyre. Holy moly, we really have been fortunate. We absolutely have been fortunate, guys. And nothing. What a first half. Another Undercity Initiate, though. That's helpful. That was just hit after hit, almost. Um, let me check quick. Sorry about this, guys. This is just amazing. I love this set. So let's just see what's up with some of these other cards. Like Death's Kiss. Nope, that's nothing. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Uh, Mirror of Life Trapping is also nothing. All right, fine. And Journey to the Lost City was nothing. Well, we checked. But you know what is something? Kindred Discovery, Battle Angels of Tear. So let's start with Battle Angels. This is a, just almost as good as it gets, aside from the Ancient Copper and maybe Ancient Silver. For me, in terms of playability though, this is the card I want on my deck. I mean, I guess that depends what kind of decks you play, what kind of colors. All right, so these apparently are nothing. And then Kindred Discovery, which I very stupidly just put straight onto the table. It's gonna have to somehow get picked up. Without damaging it. So stupid, so stupid. All right, goodness gracious. So, all right, we need a perfect fit, and that is the first half. I will check out how we did, and I will get right back to you. Thanks so much. Oh, let me get this in for a case, because uh, it's going to be on the store, too. You want to see it in the store, in perfect condition. And I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I went through the cards, and I was right about a lot of them. I still have a pretty good knowledge of the set, despite not opening that much. But I was also wrong about a fair amount, too. Um, these cards here, I think I'm going to count as kind of semi-hits. These two, not, probably not at all. Um, they're all under a buck, even though Wand of Wonder is really close. So for that reason, I am just going to keep them up here. And uh, these are all the ones that are worth more, obviously. Kindred's Great, Battle Angels, Tire, Spire Garden, Astral Dragon. Close to being a bulk. This as well, but I keep it in there. Another Battle Angels. I mean... I would say we're at maybe 75. We're probably about halfway if you got this at market towards break even. So let's do the other side and uh, see how we do. Yeah, so it's interesting the deal. It's weird. I'm not a store. I am a store, but I'm not like an LGS. Um, but I do sometimes get deals to because I buy so much in bulk. And, uh, you know, people who say ripping and shipping is impossible to break even. It's not. You know, you can even turn a bit of a profit. But it's a lot of hard work. 
I mean, hard work with playing with cards, it's fun. But just hard to profit, I guess I should say. Modify memory and mystery key. Okay. Swamp. Lin Von Cultist. Gosh, I have to keep moving my hands around, I'm sorry. Uh, Sword Coast Sailor. And Scion of Halister. That's just a common. Ooh, Caves of Chaos. That one plays great in Europe. I don't know why. Good kid. Solemn Doom Guide. I have no idea, but I would assume not because I haven't heard of it. Really cool, though. Baylor. I think that's a sweet card. I think. Like, I mean, not a huge, but like, look at the art. The art is amazing. Miriam Sentinel Worm Etched. Good card. We're off to a strong start here. Volo. Uh, Volo. I don't think so, unfortunately. He's like 50 cents, maybe. And Traverse the Outlands, Extended Foil. What a solid, and a Boo Token. What a just solid pack that was. Just all the way through, solid. Um, Traverse the Outlands, solid. Extended Foil might be like a buck or two. I don't know if I should have double sleeved it, but I guess it is a foil, so. You should double sleeve everything. I, I just meant in that context because I'm running low on time and sleeves. Miriam sent the worms a couple bucks, I'm sure. In etch. I still have one though that hasn't sold. Baylor's a big question mark, as well as that Doom Guide, so I don't know. I'll put it in just because Baylor looks so freaking cool, guys. And then Caves of Chaos. Uh, this is still like three to four euros in Europe, uh, and I'll keep it for that reason. So this this is another uh, initiate, right? Initi uh, enter the initiative. There it is. I'm telling you, those cards are something, uh, well, I'm late to the party, because I think we recognized the value of those cards, like, four months ago. But it was amazing to see White Plume Adventurer and Undermountain Adventurer go from 20 cent cards to substantially more. and Thunder Whip. We're not getting a lot of good common on commons, let me tell you. We got that Lightning Bolt Foil Showcase. That was okay. Sky Diamond. Common, right? Yeah. Thrakus. Very usable card in Dragon Decks. And Criminal Past. Okay. Gale. Gale is... It hits above his weight. I'm gonna keep this as a hit. It's just it's not maybe worth it. Uh, maybe I'll put it in a sleeve, put it up there. But he it hits above his weight, it really does. Loot dispute. Wrath of Red Dragon, nice. That's a good hit. Nira, not really. Shadow Heart, not really. All right, final card. What we got? Oh, it's a mythic. Blood money is not bad at all. All right, we are doing well, guys. Blood money. Very nice. I don't know where it stands right now, but I think that's pretty freaking sweet, guys. Should I just check it quick? No, let's do a quick check. Because I'm thinking of blood, black market connections, maybe. Ooh, nice. This is a good one. Sweet. And it is a mythic, right? Oh, no, it's a rare. No. All right, Wrathful Red Dragon. Great card. There's just so many playables out of this uh, box. And Loot Dispute and Gale, I don't know. I'll put up here for now. Gale, though, because it is foil and it is playable. I mean, they're all playable, but you know what I mean. It's a, it's a good commander card I'll put up there. For the cash, Gale is up there in terms of how good he is. Man, we are doing really well. 
This feels really good. How many packs do we have left? We still have four packs. I don't feel like we're getting ice with like legendary creatures, but there's time for that to happen. Carefree Swine Master, Parasitic Impetus, Pseudo Dragon Familiar, Feywald Caretaker, and Juvenile Mist Dragon. Okay, here we go. Another Lightning Bolt. Nope. We got the Refined Grizz. The Exquisite Blade, OG, and a Commander Lyra Porter. Nothing crazy. A Monster Manual. Nice card. Very nice. Good start. Very solid. Ooh, Huchelon. I don't think that's too, too solid. Might be. I can't remember. Descend into Avernus. Nice. This is a card that I think also just has potential long term to go up a lot more, too. Or, well, actually, it already did go up, I think. Cultist of the Absolute, okay, etched. Jan Jansen, and just a rare. Duke, wow, okay, that wasn't so good. This is a boot token? No. There is a devil boot token out there. Okay. All these cards are just kind of good. Not enough to, to beat the, the other side, though, in terms of value. Descend into Avernus, I don't know where this is at. If this is like a already like a five dollar card, then that's that's sweet. I just can't remember. Three left. We got three left to get a ancient copper. We can do it. Borderless foil Furkin rag. Let's go. So much fun to open packs, guys. Life's too short to not do it, right? You met in a tavern and vicious battlemonger, okay. The swashbuckler extraordinaire and the skullwinder. Ah, oh, my back. Swamp gives way to Abdelorian. This is like another card that's just so good in Commander. Flaming Fist. It's a common, right? Yep. Yeah. And the Mystic. Okay, here we go. Oh, my back. A mythic, holy moly. Ooh, Storm King's Thunder. Okay, decent. Very decent. Captain something. Oh man, if this was foil, it would have been so cool, but still very cool. Earthquake Dragon. I have no idea. I doubt it's something too crazy. I don't think it's like Astral Dragon, but we'll check it out after. Duke Older and what's behind him? Mazzy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Just a rare. Gale's Redirection. Okay, so Storm King's Thunder is pretty sweet, especially in Europe again. A lot of these I'm realizing just way better prices in Europe. I don't know if I should have double sleep this guy, but he got a double sleep. The Captain. This is another card you really want in Borderless. I don't know what it's worth, just regular. And a Gale's Redirection, which is a Borderless Foil, but I don't think it's very valuable. The Earthquake Dragon is a big question mark. Let's see. Ooh. I take that back. I guess all the dragons in this are like somewhat valuable. That's a hit. Alright, two packs left. Then I can give my back a rest. Holy moly. Another initiative, nice. Sky Diamond, Dire Mimic, and absolutely very few, almost no, valuable common on commons. Two-handed axe is like borderline. I'll put it down here. Alright, here we go. Might be 50 cents. Fire Diamond. That's not maybe 50 cents, it's maybe nothing. And Rilsa Rail and a Candlekeep Sage. Nine Fingers Key, and oh boy, now we're gonna get hit with the legendary creatures. Oh, my back. Come on, we need at least one more big hit to break even, I know it. Multi class Baldric. Don't know, so probably nothing crazy. 
Majestic Genesis. Boy, do I wish for this to be something. I just doubt it. Gale etched. That's actually kind of cool. Ancient Gold Dragon Borderless. We did it, guys. We hit a dragon. Now, it may not be the big one, but we got a Borderless Dragon, and that is so freaking sweet. All right, that might be all we needed, guys. That might be it right there. And finally, the Harvester. Guys, we did it. We got a dragon. I, I'm not going to complain. It could have been an Ancient Brass. It's an Ancient Gold, which is better. I think, right? Is an Ancient Gold better? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I'm very pleased. Very pleased. So we got a dragon. I might separate this. Can I? I can't. All right, Harvester isn't worth anything, but it is extended for. Gale is etched. And Majestic Genesis. Ooh. Majestic Genesis is worth a couple bucks, guys. I think I'm going to have to do the giveaway. I think this side, actually, what, the Ancient Gold maybe takes away one of the uh, Battle Angels of Tear, so maybe not. But then we got a lot of solid value. It's going to be close. I'm excited to see how, where it lands. A lot of hits. Look at that pile of hits. So awesome, guys. Wow, oh, that ancient gold. I want to look at it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Lantern of Revealing, Armor of Shadows, and the Invoker. So not a single deadly dispute. Cast down, and the Pixie. Forest. <sighs> Moss Diamond. Oh, I gotta go here in a second. Shadow Arch Druid, Cloakwood Hermit, ooh, Foil Spire Garden, nice, This, I think this side won, Green Slime, I don't think that's a very valuable card, Fraying Line, we're going to have to look both of those up, Mythic, what an etched Bolo, Ugh. Will, okay, here it is, guys, last freaking card. Oh, Alundo the Seer. All right, that was it, guys. My back is killing. I got to hold it. I got an interview to go to, but we finished pretty strong, I believe. I'm very excited to see what the value of the box is, so I will be back in a few to discuss it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm excited for the breakdown. All right, so I just finished going through everything, and the total is around 140 in euros. Um, which isn't bad. That doesn't include all the bulk. I did give some of these cards some value. For example, Green Slime, 50 cents here, almost a euro. Some of those a little higher. So, but we got a lot of solid stuff. Well, uh, you know, from the commons, it was really Lightning Bolt and Heapgate. That's about two euros. You got a lot of foils. Maybe you could sell some of those. Then here was Signet. I didn't count cut a deal or inspired tinkering or two-handed axe. So it's really just the signet, which is another two euros. Um, and then, then the boo token, which is one. So that's about five already. If you counted all that, that could be like ten if you're going to list every card individually. But here's where the big ones are. We got the spire, adult gold, so awesome. Descent into Avernus, right? Monster manual, wrathful red, blood money, and foil. Extended Foil, Caves of Chaos, Baylor is a great card, Diversity Outlands, Extended Foil, Kindred, Discovery, another Battle Angels of Tyre, Spire Garden, Extended Astral Dragon is great, another Battle Angels, oh that, that's the second Battle Angels, Luxury Suite, Undermountain Extended, there they are, these are really the big ones here I would say, two Battle Angels, Kindred, the two lands, I guess three lands if you count this, and then of course one Dragon. So, honestly, solid, right? I mean, Battle Angels of Tyre right now, or however you pronounce it, are getting big now. Three lands, Kindred. I don't know. I mean, that's that's a solid box. 
you know, most valuable is probably this at around 20. This comes in around 17.5. This comes in around 15 euros. Um, the lands are about six a piece, six. This is about not eight. You know, and then you get a lot of twos and ones. It's a, it's a solid product, seriously. And I think a lot of the cards, like Undermountain Adventurer was nothing recently, right? That came out of nowhere from 20 cents. Now this is a four euro card. So there's still potential for that to happen with other cards. I think it's a cool set. I like it a lot. It's It was underappreciated. It was almost hated when it came out. And um, I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Thanks so much for watching. I think I will actually end up stocking up on the good deal I found. And I'm excited to crack and, and ship. Thanks so much for watching. Just realizing I forgot to mention a giveaway. Well, what should we do for a giveaway? You know, I don't know if the right side beat the left side, but it was so close that I'm going to do a giveaway anyways. What's a cool card to give away? You know what? We'll give away the Astral Dragon. So just leave a comment, and uh, you'll probably be the only one, so you'll be the one getting it. Thanks so much, and have a good day.